All right, this is the last of the solution videos for the Stupendous Styles Challenge. And uh, now we're going to work on the complete page. I'm going to show you a little something I failed to talk about during the regular videos. And you're going to see this at work. So uh, it's a pretty cool feature um, of styles. I kept saying that they're like cascading style sheets, but I never really demonstrated that notion. We'll do that now. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do is borrow actually from the uh, donut page again. Let me just grab all of this here. That's all I need for now. Paste that in there. And uh, what I'll do, now notice here, uh, you know, if we take a look at, what do we got? Yeah, we're, we're gonna use the color logo here, right? But you'll notice that I copied in the style that points to the white st logo style. That's true. Well, what if I just override that one attribute of the style that was created on the white logo style that sets the source equal to the color logo instead? Will that work? Well, let's see. Make sure I spelled it right first. Or else it'll be anticlimactic. Okay, here we go. Whoa, same size, same spacing, everything's the same except its color. So you see, I was able to borrow from the style but override the things that I needed to be different about the style. And that is how styles in XAML are like cascading style sheets. So, cool. All right, but that's not uh, all we need to do here. We also need to work with this ticket and with this order 96 and all that business, right? And so, uh, let's go ahead and, um, first of all, I'm gonna add that image, grid.row equals one. In fact, uh, I think I only need two rows here. So let me get rid of that. Okay, right. Yeah, the first row is going to be for our logo, but the second row, row one, that's where all the magic is going to happen for the complete page. So uh, let's set the source equal to assets ticket dot JPEG. And um, I'm going to set the, uh, the vertical and horizontal alignments equal to center. And uh, we'll see where that takes us. Now, I'm pretty sure this image is going to get just be ginormous. So we're going to have to come back and address that. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do, though, is add the stack. Whoops, add a stack panel. And inside the stack panel, we're going to put two text blocks. And uh, the text on the first one will be the order. And then the text on the second one will be that 96. Again, this is just a mock-up. No real functionality here. I'm going to set the font size on the whoops the font size on the second one equal to 64, pretty big, and then the font size on the first one to 36. Horizontal alignment center, and I don't think I'm going to need to touch the vertical alignment uh, because I'm actually going to do that here in the stack panel. Uh, so uh, grid, we're also putting this in grid.row1. Now remember one of the qualities of working with the grid rows is that you can put as many things as you want in them and they'll just be stacked on top of each other. And I'm actually counting on that to happen. Uh, so vertical alignment center, horizontal alignment equals center. All right, so we should be good to go now. Let's see what we have. Now, I know that the image is going to just be ridiculously large. So I'm going to have to come back and resize that. Yeah, <laughs> it's ridiculous. And I don't see my text blocks. What happened? All right, so clearly we got some issues here we got to address. Let's set, um, let's put the, uh, the width of this thing to 300. That should help.
Oh, you know what? I'm a knucklehead. We don't need these columns. That's the danger of cut and paste, right? You get stuff and you forget that you have it in there. That should fix that issue. And complete. Yay! It looks, well, it looks pretty close. Something not quite right about the centering on this, but I think it's good enough for now. All right, so we're going to go with that. And that is basically the solution to the Stupendous Styles Challenge. I hope uh, you were able to use styles as much as possible. Uh, if you were able to use them more than I was, then you get bonus points for that. That's awesome. Uh, and hopefully you saw the value of the styles here and there. And you got to play around with uh, some logic. You got to work with, um, with layout. Some of the things that we did previously, you get to strengthen those muscles, uh, like uh, working with the frame and navigating around. Okay, So let's move on. Now we're going to get to the more complicated, interesting stuff. This is when things start to get fun. So wake up and let's get going. See you in the next lesson. Thanks.